When Caliph Records coined the name Genge and encouraged other Kenyan artists to adopt it as our music identity, many artists, especially those from Mogopa DJs and other well-established record labels like Blue Zebra, ridiculed them. The artists from Caliph Records were opposed to Kenyan music being labeled as local music or Kenyan artists being referred to as local artists, as other countries have their own distinct musical identities. For example, Tanzania had Bongo, Congo had Lingala, South Africa had Kwaito, and so on. Local, it's not a local group. Local, it's not a local group. It's a local artist. 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 During that time, Ogopa DJs dominated the airwaves, accounting for an estimated 70% or more of the music played on radio and television. As a retaliation, Ogopa DJs and their allies introduced Boomba music, also known as Kapuka, which gained immense popularity in the 2000s. Boomba is a retaliation to gang. On June 14, 2023, the pioneers of Genge music, Monini, Clemo, and Wakali, were over the moon when they received news that Genge as a music genre had been included in a new category for the 66 Grammy Awards. Genge was listed under the Best African Music Performance category, which also features Afrobeat, Ama Piano, Bongo Flavor, and other genres. As Al Nightingale wisely said, never give up on a dream simply because of the time it will take to achieve it. Time will pass regardless. So what are your thoughts on Genge music being added in the Grammy Awards? Share your opinions in the comment section. Don't forget to follow us on TikTok and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Your support means a lot to us. Stay safe and we will catch you in our next upload. Bless.